Vaughn. Welcome to it. It's the Keith Vaughn's Flying Circus coverage of the Texas Old Route 66 Association Motor Tour 2023. Day two. And what a great day. Day two was. The entire event has been awesome or was awesome. And here we are documenting day two all the way to Amarillo. What a great organization. What a great group of people cruising. It was a good time. And this is the way day two started. No joke, outside the hotel. Thank you very much, Shamrock, Texas. Here we are, all gathered up with uh, Mr. Daggett, running down what's gonna be happening on day two. Again, very well organized. Okay, I just wanted to make sure you know. All the questions were answered. Traffic uh, situations, how Texas is different than Oklahoma the previous day with merging onto the road and so on and so forth. And so much of Route 66 in Texas just parallels I-40. And that creates for its own issues. And uh, Gary was explaining how that's going to work. And about our destinations. From Shamrock on to, I uh, believe, uh, McLean. And then to Groom. Or to Groom and then McLean. I can't remember which one's first. <laughs> I should know that. And then on to Amarillo. And look at that beautiful Texas sky. It was a great morning. And people are carrying coats. Uh, the weather was a lot nicer the next morning. Night before, a cold front kind of moved in with a storm system. But the next day, nice. Yeah, we're about to light up and get on the road i'll take the b group to lunch and stephanie will take the a group to the cross and then we'll meet after that and, and get back to care you know, i mentioned that my ranchero ran spectacular for most of this cruise on day two it began to do a weird thing where it would idle real high when it first got cranked up like the choke was just choking too hard now that was kind of weird till it warmed up, but after it warmed up, we're good. And there we are on the old road, Mother Road, right next to the new I-40. The old Route 66. As I've mentioned before. Yeah, it's me smiling. Check out this conversation right here. Listen close. Yeah, she told me. Here we are, Devil's Rope Museum. You wouldn't think a museum on barbed wire could be interesting, but this was an awesome location. I lost some of my video from inside here, so I didn't get as much coverage as I wanted, but plenty. Not only barbed wire, but some of the signs from Route 66 from in the area there. Again, the museums along Route 66, for the most part, are worth stopping. There she is, the original steer from the original Big Texan. A great Monte Carlo SS aero car, those are rare. Beautiful El Camino, another old Chevrolet. Lots of uh, nice older rides 
on this cruise. And over there in the top right, Roman Rich and his big motor home. What a great unit that was. And these motorcyclists showed up about the time we were there. Big, big group of them. And a group of slingshots, three wheelers over there too. Everybody now over at the Phillips 66 station in McLean, which is a project of the Texas Old Route 66 Association. Uh, they were, a, a, I guess, the driving force behind the restoration of this location here. And there's Gary explaining all of the uh, work that went into it and how it is the first approved Phillips 66 station in Texas. In Turkey, Texas, they built one, but it wasn't officially approved by Phillips, but they, they beat this location by a few months. And Gary's talking about the controversy surrounding who had the first Phillips station in Texas. Now he contends this is the first approved Phillips 66 station in Texas, and I'm, I, I'm with Gary. Turkey can also say they had the first Phillips station, but this one is the first approved Phillips service station. But they put a roof on this thing, paint, uh, uh, tons of restoration to the building, and the pumps out front done. Uh, man, I, I'm, I'm going to get this name wrong. I think it's Broid, Broiken, or Brodgen. The two individuals standing there at the far end that are walking away from the pumps, that man and his daughter, and I believe his uh, uh, father and mother there. I think I got that right. They restored those pumps, and they are awesome. So they're the first one open. Well, I said we could both be first because we have records that says Phillips approved this one first. So we'd say this is the first one approved. They are the ones in that 38 or 39 Chevrolet, I believe. And uh, we were behind them on a lot of the cruise. Beautiful car. Now, I don't know what they have to settle. I'm not saying we were the first ones open. I said they could have that. But, you know, we have records for... This location, over time, since I've been a uh, 66er, uh, has deteriorated to a certain... Point. And it was great that the Texas Old Route 66 Association came along and uh, took control and, and did this great work on this location. I've got photos somewhere from a few years ago where it doesn't look near this good. And the pumps, got to admit the pumps are what set this location off. The building is vintage and old and just so old school with a fireplace there in the front but those pumps are just over the top set the location off good stuff uh, gary's explaining also that up the road is the next project of this group the texas old route 66 association and it's another service station this one is in Alan Reed up the road and this station also is one that I have visited over the years and I've seen it slowly start to fall apart too so it's good that they're going to be getting on board and saving this station which for its time was a super station I mean it's a it was a big station for the 30s and 40s he will be driving by it here momentarily on the way up the road Get a good look at those pumps and how authentic and true to original they are. It was built in 1932 at the Texaco station. And for 1932, that was a really big station. When you see it, you'll realize that. That's next on our list. So hopefully in January, we're going to start fundraising again to get that station looking as good as this one. So take a look at it when we go through Allen Reed. And hopefully in January, when we put up asking for donations, Again, by this time of the day, for some reason, boom, skies got a little overcast. Sun stayed out, but clouds did move in. 
time, it all helps. So with that, we're going to hit the road. Uh, our next stop's going to be Jericho. And back onto the road. There was a lot of this going under I-40 and then back around. Jericho, Texas. Jericho Gap. Very interesting location. Along this route back in the day when it was dirt, it would get so badly covered in water and mud that travelers would get stuck and the locals made a living out of pulling people out and getting them back on the road. Now off in the uh, top right, you can see some buildings back there. That's the old, old motor court of Jericho. Still exists back there. And a young couple and their family are the new purchasers of this location. They own this and they've got big plans for Jericho Gap, Texas. I would encourage you to go online and look that up and support if you can. Here we are in Groom at the Groom Cross. Monster huge cross on the Texas Panhandle Plains with the stations of the cross all around it in statues. And up the road, one group went to eat. We were in that group eating at the grill. Good meal. Patty melt. Mm-mm. Tigers. Here we are actually making our way back over to the cross. What a, what an inspiring and very uh, awe-filled location. There was a band setting up for a performance while we were there. Don't know what was going on later. Here's one of the stations of the cross statues. And at each station, there was also an explanation of each station. And somebody had come along and put some flowers in the hands of some of the statues. Now these statues are quite amazing. The detail is very deep. We walked around these stations and everybody's very quiet. It's powerful. Now, also on the same site, they have this. It's a replica of the Shroud of Turret. Exact size. And it's uh, amazing. It's not the real thing, but it is a copy, digitally created copy of the Shroud of Turret. Amazing. They have a, a program running on loop in the background that explains all about it. And the Last Supper, also at the Seven, excuse me, at the uh, Groom Cross. I believe this is uh, St. George and the Dragon. I 
again. An amazing location. Now back on the road. There's the Leaning Tower, Water Tower. And look back at some of our cruisers as we're once again crossing I-40, staying on the old road as much as possible. Again, I think only maybe five or seven miles of this cruise was on I-40. Alan Reed, the old cafe there at Alan Reed. And right down the road is the service station I was talking about earlier. The next project of the Texas Old Route 66 Association Motor Tour, right there. We got big plans, and if uh, the Phillips Station is any indication, they'll do great. Slug Bug Ranch. This was fun, too. It's kind of like the Cadillac Ranch, but with VWs. Old bugs. You can see that cloudy sky. It's a big sign for something that used to be there. It probably was pretty big too. Now back on the road and in Amarillo, we've made it to the hotel. And our room. Nice room. And right out here is where later there would be a big banquet for all the cruisers. Man, again, organized very well, and the food was great. Hospitality was great. Hotel was great. I cannot remember the name of the hotel. Should have written that down before we began our director's cut. But here we are, all gathered up that night. And here's Gary's wife. And we didn't know it, but it was Gary's birthday. Gary Daggett president of our association and here he is being serenaded with happy birthday <laughs> Gary wasn't too happy he's a little embarrassed by the attention yeah they had some cool bright or gifts I should say that's the uh, cruise logo with everybody's signatures on it that cruised very cool. And he got a fire pit. <laughs> Route 66 fire pit. Thank you, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. And his birthday. <laughs> Cupcake. <laughs> oh, you gotcha, gotcha. And now, various awards were given out, like this one. Can't believe it. The Von Chero, my 57 Ranchero, won People's Choice Award. All right, just arrived home. And here we are. After we had arrived back on Sunday afternoon, next day.
and she uh, did very well. And I'm not sure on mileage. I, I don't. I don't keep mileage. I just look at my gas gauge and and go with that. And uh, doesn't drink gas. But then again, it 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 it's not you know conserving it either. Lots of bugs, but we made it. Great time on the Texas Old Route 66 Association Motor Tour 2023. And we'll be there for 2024 also. No uh, hiccups. No Want to thank the Texas Old Route 66 Association, Mr. Daggett and all of his crew, uh, Brady Wilson. Also want to thank uh, Jason Brown for the music accompaniment for our videos on this cruise. Jason, one of my great friends and a great talent. I highly recommend it. Appreciate you checking out the video, and if you liked it, hit that uh, hit that thumbs up button. And your subscription, man, we'd highly appreciate that. And until we're back on the mother road again soon. <laughs>